I am. I'm going. I'm going live right now as we speak, and I don't know where Jessica is. We just arrived from here, and we're in the shower. I'm. We're in the shower. Uh, she just went in the shower. I'm gonna grab a quick beer while I do this. Are you ready? Hold on. Finally. Listen, I want to get to you guys on time, and so I apologize. Um, this has been like like a like a. We just arrived. I'm here. I'm okay. clean. Listen. Will is not. Are you ready? I'm Are ready. You done. I'm ready. You I'm sure? Ready. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I was stalling so much. <clears throat> Cheers, by the way. Um, I am. Yay! Welcome to our boat. Welcome hey to guys. the live stream. All Wel right, we're getting to, there. Welcome we're to almost, our life. We're almost in. We're almost Jesus. settled down. Wow. This is this is insanity. All right. I don't even know what this looks like. I do apologize. Breath. I do apologize for uh, for the abrupt start to this thing. When you land at wow, that light's really, really, wow. really, 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 really bad. That is really bad. Hold on. Hold on. He's gonna fix the lighting. This is what happened. We just. Hey honestly, everyone. We honestly. I'm just sorry. Landed. I'm here in my robe. <laughs> All right. That looks right. a lot better. All right. <sighs> Cheers! Come. Welcome. Ooh. Hello. Um, it's so great to see you guys. I need. A, I need a minute. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath. Will right. is like messaging me. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! I'm like running with my robe through the hole. Oh, you got me a tea. Oh. I did get you a tea, and I got myself a, a beverage. I just it's want been you guys. I want you guys to see this. You see my mug right here. See this? That better not be my mug. It's. It's, it's the I'm the captain. It's I'm the captain because I have a whole story to tell you guys about that. All right. We, have, we, we, we broke we, a lot of ground today, by the way. Before we get started, let's. I'm going to put my glasses on for just a second here. Oh, wow. Those are really dirty. And say hi to everybody. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome. We're so happy to have you here. Um, okay. It's so weird um, coming to, to chat with you guys in my jammies. I feel kind of... <laughs> It's kind of weird. Listen, we, that's we, okay. we thought we timed this um, like to a, to a T and well, I guess we right. kind of did. Hi Gary. Hi Kaylee. Hi Ellen. We've got people from Paris, Texas, London, California, Scotland. I'm so impressed. Cork? Hold on. Can you pause for a second? Paris? You just got in the shower. And look at you. You're like, you're like all a hundred percent like in tune at this point. I could not multitask that well. I want you guys this to is, know that. This is not, this is not my forte here. I we I haven't showered in a couple days, and I said to Will, I promise I'll be back in time for the live, but I need a shower to feel like a human again. So, um, let's see. We've got uh, Yorkshire, Michigan, Munich. Oh my gosh! Look at you guys are from all over the place. Oregon, Minnesota, Toulouse, UK, Hello. Somerset, UK. Hi, mom. My mom's there. Hello, Iris. Um, Dublin and Denmark, Lincoln, UK, Chicago, Casablanca, Morocco, woo, Los Angeles. Minnesota. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right. Ooh. Cheers. Welcome. And um, thank you for being patient with us. And we, we once, let's just start off. We, we, we apologize 100% for missing our vlog last week, this week, yes. Friday, and two days ago, whatever. One uh, second, one second before you talk. Um, I'm on my computer over here looking at comments because the software we use over here can't see them. So no. don't, I'm not ignoring you guys or, you know, looking at some you're something so else rude. over here. I'm just you're, looking you're at the comments as well. Person. So, But my computer was dead for, for like a couple days. It went to the Apple store. It went to get a new battery replaced. We're, we're at, we're at a point now where we have, um, we have very few opportunities, very few windows that we can get something done and know that it, we're going to be at a place where we can get it returned to us. And my, my computer's battery said um, it needed service. And so we had an opportunity to send it to the Apple store. And Genius Bars don't work overnight like they used to anymore because of COVID. They actually ship. Here's a really crazy thing. Now here, I don't know if it's a European thing or whatever the case may be. But when you go to the Apple store now in Europe, there's like there's like a window. And, and it's, it's almost like 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 a bank teller. Kind of like you tell them your problem. Like McDonald's. Kind of. <laughs> you still have to schedule a Genius Bar appointment. You, and you drop off your computer, and then they say we're gonna send it to a central repair facility, and then um, like four days later it comes back to you. So my computer went to the Czech Republic. It got repaired. Is that where it went? Yeah, that's where it went. Wow. And then uh, and then they basically they, they were able to send it back to me. So. Uh, lucky um, for me, I got it taken care of. Avalon and Largo are gonna are gonna pop in, guys. I know you guys want to say hi to them. So, and we'll explain kind of what's been going on and everything. So, Will, like Will said, he, his computer had an issue. Um, also, Will got the vaccine um, about a week ago. 
I the band's back together, so we're all back together. Yay! We still have one more vlog of us all getting back together and kind of the final wrap up of all that. And that will be the vlog that comes out next Friday. So this will be a little bit, you're going to get a little bit of, um, I guess, insight to some things that, that you would, you, that are um, ahead of what's the next vlog, next vlog is going to show. And I got you know, back. Don't, we don't give away too many spoilers. We don't. We don't. We don't. But let's just say that. Things went really well in yeah. Spain, so yeah. so we're we're pretty we're pretty psyched about that. And so Will had his computer issue. Um, he had his vaccine, which he was his first one, which he was fine. Everything was fine. He was a little tired. Avil and I got back late Saturday night. I had my vaccine on Sunday, and I was pretty tired for a couple days. I took afternoon naps for a couple days, um, and then so between that, um, the computer. And us trying to get out of off the dock and leave, yeah. We had a lot of projects that we had to finish up on the boat and stuff and kind of reconnect as a family, as well as Will and I had some work stuff we had to do together. And and add on all the top of that, I have a problem with my tooth, so I had to have a tooth pulled on Friday, which was has been kind of a, it's a long story, but it's a good story because that tooth was causing me problems, and it's I'm glad it's gone and I'm happy. Um, so all that being said, that's kind of it was it was Will's computer that was the catalyst for no vlog, but then there were a lot of series of other things he was able to work on my computer. Um, while I was sleeping and whatnot and trying to take care of other things, but it just was not enough time for him to get the vlog done. So thank so, you so guys thank you for being patient with for us. Being patient with us. Uh, we really hate to miss a week, but sometimes these things happen and we thought that kind of as a peace offering, we would do a live with you guys and, um, you know, but it means now share we're, some different we're, things. Uh, we are, we are in somewhere we haven't been in a while. We're, we're behind our vlogs by a week. We which, are. which is which is very very strange for us because we like to we like to time Instagram and and YouTube sort of we're sharing the same story, and so um, now I don't know are you going to continue to share daily life or are you going to wait until we, we share the vlog stuff? I don't stuff? know. I like sharing daily life with you guys over there. It's so it's so different than what I share on Instagram is so different than what's on the vlogs, and I love that. So I think I may continue to do that. I haven't done it much the last week just because there's been a lot going on, and then the last two days, which we're going to talk about in a bit, I have a ton of stuff that I'm going to upload on Instagram stories in the next couple of days. I just want to go back right. to the questions for just a second. By the um, way, thank you, Brandy. For, I was just going to say chat. thank you, Brandy. Thank you so much. Super chat, and you know, guys, if you give any super chats, we we always give them to the kids. Anyone who gives a super chat usually it says it's for the kids for ice cream or candy or something like that. We always give it to them anyway. Or Lego. Um, okay, so here's a question. Amy wants to know what's been the most expensive boat project. Oh boy, a uh, project or just upgrade in general? The, the biggest upgrade. We spent oh. a lot on safety upgrades just yeah. in general. The radar was probably the most expensive of the upgrades. Um, that was about 2000 and change, almost like 3000 us when you uh, factoring the exchange currency, um, beyond that, um, the whole solar slash battery install was, was a bit pricey because I included some, some stainless steel welding. Um, yeah. and that was about three grand and change around there. And if we would have gotten my spice rack, and those of you who know the history of the spice rack, that might have been the most expensive right. thing on the boat. Um, uh, someone said, your weather doesn't seem wonderful. It is the med, and the med is pretty nasty most of the year. Um, and if you once you see the footage from what we did today, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, Jessica still has 85 layers on. Yeah, it's pretty bad, but we're optimistic it's going to get better, and we always say that... I know Will and I have a tendency to kind of set ourselves up in the worst possible weather or scenario, whatever. And then when things get better in life, we're like, oh, well, this is so much easier. So we figure once we eventually get to someplace like the Caribbean or the South Pacific, we're going to feel like it's just paradise sailing and it's so warm and lovely but because we, we're not used to that. We essentially we just took off for the last two days and I was barefoot the entire time. No, so I that, was that was that was quite nice. I, I have to admit, um, I was you know I still had layers up on top, but it it these are signs of things positive to come. Um, we have we have we have ambitions to be in in areas where we can jump in the water, like just off the at the back of the boat, and real not soon. worry about freezing to death in like forty five minutes. So right. all right, so um, hi from hi from Israel, Morocco, Clearwater, Florida. Ah, we're on a hundred twenty inch TV. Oh, oh my, my gosh. <laughs> How do we look? <laughs> can, can you believe this? I remember. Go ahead, I've, go ahead. I've never seen us in a TV beyond 
a laptop. Okay, so I was in two and a half years ago. I was in Los Angeles. Uh, that's where we used to live. And I was getting surgery on my spine, and that's why I have the scar over here someplace. And I went to a friend's house, and he has a huge TV. And he wanted, and we started watching some of our vlogs, and I was, I was beside myself. How, how, how huge my head is! Like, look at my head next to Will's. Turn your head. My head is really big, but no, when it's on a big but TV, how did it look? It's, well, I couldn't look at anything but how big my head looked. I, like, <laughs> so you looked really good. <laughs> you looked really good, but I was so uh, no, oh it did gosh. look good. It looks. It's so we're so used to seeing it on on computer screens. Um, we have dumb televisions, so we don't accept, we don't have like a TV that does YouTube. Um, we have like a dumb Apple TV as well. We have like the first generation Apple TV, which doesn't have the YouTube app either. So. So the, the the laptop is the best that we get nowadays. Yeah, it is. It is the best, but it's it is kind of interesting seeing us on a screen that big. So, um, um, uh, let's see. Uh, it's great to see you all back together. Hello, Israel. Yes, we are back together. We're gonna bring the kids on in a little bit. Yep. Um, uh, la la, Liverpool, UK. Hello. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, Ferry, Connecticut. I think that's, yeah, CT, Connecticut. Um, okay, so I may, tried to make a little list today because I was like, I don't want to forget anything. So let's start with telling them what we just did the last two days, don't you think? So when we said, here, here's the interesting part. So so when we, when we talked about, when we advertised for the live, when we thought we were going to be doing a live, we had no idea where we were, where we were going to be. We knew that that okay, so right, so, we thought we were going to be in some place like on Anchor and so exotic if, area. If you're but... questioning where we are, we'll get to that in just a second. Ooh. So, so the idea is is what where 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 are we and what direction are we heading? So, what what's happened? Let me sort of give you a recap. So, what when Jessica and Avalon came back from Spain? I think we've talked about this before in one of the vlogs that we were that we we knew that Greece was almost out of the picture because of the COVID because yeah. of because well, there's of there's our, a couple of reasons there's, too. There's a couple of reasons because but, but, we're hosting a group trip. Sorry to cut you off, yeah. but I want to kind of give them a little more context. We're hosting a group trip to Morocco in the end of October, and there's still spots if anyone wants to join us. Um, all the details are all over the place on our website, and there's links in our Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I won't go and plug it too much here, but we have to be in Morocco by like the middle of October. So we didn't want to kind of get ourselves all the way over in Greece. And then, you know, we're still, we're new, we're new sailors. So we didn't want to kind of be stressing out, like racing to Greece and then having to get back. And do we have enough time and going when not, we don't want to travel when it's bad weather because we don't have that much experience. So we made a decision that Greece wasn't going to work out for us. Go ahead. Sorry. Although there, there still may be a trip to Greece, just... That, that's oh, yeah. another that's, that's a whole other story that's but another we'll, story we'll save that we'll save that one, one for later but yeah. there's still gonna be a trip to Greece um yeah that's it that's gonna be a cool story anyway so um Avalon just finished her AP exams which were in Madrid which you know she did she did really well uh did you talk about that well, on Instagram I don't know if she did well because the results are not in well, she whatever. felt like she did she really like well. She did well and and so um but she still has one more exam to do she has an, she has an SAT subject matter exam if anyone if anyone knows what that is um then then tell you know Will because he doesn't know but but basically this is not the like the SAT exams these are like specific like subject focused exams that that people take if they want to sort of show off that they've done really well in a particular subject Alan has aspirations for particular schools that this, they require this. That re, that require this, and so she's taking a her SAT subject matter exam in physics um, in two weeks, and we, we had it originally scheduled for um, in Madeira in Madeira. No, no. we in, had it originally uh, in, in Mallorca. In, no, in Spain. originally it was scheduled in Greece. Right. When well, we thought we were going to be to Greece, and but it's you can change it. it. So we changed it um, to Mallorca, right. and then we just realized. Do you want to tell the rest of that? So, right. you're on a roll. So, well, well that, what that basically told us is that we, our, our heading was going to be heading west towards Spain, right? So, um, our our direction of our course is right now heading towards the, the Baleares Islands um, in Spain, which is, you know, Mallorca, Menorca. Ibiza um, and Formatera, right, I think that's how you right. say it. And so, our, 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 our plan for the summer, so just so you know, so the baseline at all, is that we're going to spend the summer in those islands, hanging out as much as possible, enjoying um, sort of what, what those islands have to offer. Hopefully, we're going to be swimming. Hopefully, we're not yeah, going to be in I these mean, anymore. I hope so. And, um, and, and all is going to be good. As of 
this morning, we still had no idea where we're going to be, where our course is going to be. So when we said a mystery location, because it was still a mystery to us. We thought, well, we thought it would be, we'd be on anchor someplace magical like we were last night right and we would we would do the live from the anchor and then maybe go out and show you guys but this morning after much kind of debate and research as to because because avalon still has a lot of studying to do for her exam um and studying while underway is not it's challenging it's not easy so uh, um just to give you an idea yesterday when we we took off she was actually <laughs> working inside here with clients and she had to take a, she said to one of her clients i need a minute i'm not feeling well she got off with her client came out in the cockpit threw up and then came back and so she felt fine <laughs> with a and, smile on her and face. could go back to working with her client she did work with the client outside after that um but we kind of realized that this was going to be really difficult to get as far as we needed to go to for her exam and then we thought well maybe we can change the exam so we went online at 5 30 this morning and realized we could change the location of the exam so right. we changed the location of the exam to france right and it's it's now going to be um in a location that is not far from where we're parked where we're parked right now drum roll oh my god it's, it's a like, big mystery it's almost depressing you guys have been here before <laughs> we've been here for like six months before it's port camard where we where we first bought the boat and and we we realized that you know what we've come full circle. It is we're here. We've circumnavigated. And, oh my Part gosh, of the med. Can you imagine? <laughs> we uh we we, we we realized that we have we have we have a relationship here, and they know who they know who we are. They said they were sold out, but we called them. They said that's fine. We can we can find you a spot. We'll work to Latino magic. And um and so essentially they said you want to stay here for a couple of days while Avalon studies. And you want to go ahead and you want to you want to then sort of take care of so so, so the plan is this <laughs> we're going to be here until avalon takes her sat subject matter test which is going to be in 10 days About 10 days yeah and then we're going to take off now vlog wise it's going to feel like it was nothing because yeah. Because we're a little behind. Because now we're a week behind. Now we have the ability to say, oh, now we're in Port Mark, And the next video is like, oh, look, now we're someplace else. Now we've left. So so it's not going to be like, oh, more marina talk. Oh, that's so awful. Yeah, we're not even going to shoot a marina vlog. No. Because there's no need to. We have some other great stuff. Um, and then it's off. We're off to Spain after that. And right. then um, after we're on the islands, we're going to do the southern part of Spain and then head over to Africa, Morocco, and then Canaries, and then um, so on and so forth. So, so cross your fingers. And, and basically in 10 days, everything is well. Yeah, nothing's going to break on the boat. Nothing's going to break on the boat because we're not going to move the boat. And then we're going to be just fine. And so, yeah, that, that's our plan. I got a couple plan. of questions here for you. Um, it's, it's, let's see. It's really uh, exciting, huh? When, I'm sorry. I was, no, looking, at, I was looking at the questions. I, I, I'm still I'm still like overwhelmed because okay. like we're parked. Where we, I'm, a little, I'm a little nostalgic. Will's a little nostalgic. I am a little nostalgic. Um, I'm, oh, wow. That sunset's beautiful. Okay. I miss the sunsets here. It's beautiful. Um, I'm, I'm a little nostalgic, but I'm also, I'm so ready to kind of get past this point, right? We've been at this point. We've gone east. We've come back. And now I'm ready to just kind of keep going on. But I'm also excited to get, get caught up on the vlogs. And we have a couple other things that we're finishing up our ditch kit and a couple other things that need to be taken care of. And, you know, just have a little bit of like family time because, um, you know, we we kind of missed each other. We jumped right back into like work and vaccines yep. and broken computer and all that kind of stuff. And a tooth, you know, being removed like really fast and didn't have a lot of opportunity to kind of connect and play a game and whatnot as, as a family. So, um, OK, so Leonard says his little his his little girl, uh, Julieta, wants to know if we're getting a dog. We are not getting a dog. We're not getting a dog. But you're warm. <laughs> and that's all I can tell you right now. We're getting a guinea pig. No, we're not getting guinea pig. <laughs> we did have a hamster when we lived in the RV. And we did have a dog when we started traveling. We're, getting, we brought... we're getting a guard guinea pig. We're getting, that, we're really getting, a, we're getting a pig. Fend off pirates. Do you guys have internet while at sea? I'll let you answer that one. We have internet while at sea. The answer is yes and no. Um, we have a, a, what's called a, a Wi-Fi booster. So it's like a 4G booster. It's, it, it, essentially, it's, it's a high-powered router that has antennas on the mast. And if we're close to a radar tower, a radar tower, a cell phone tower, we'll, we'll pick that up further out than if we just had our phones with us. Um, it works well yeah. sometimes if there's, a, if there's a cell phone tower. Um, we're in France. France is not very known Sorry. for having great cell phone service. Hold on. So the answer is, is yes, we can go, um, like today, for instance, we were about, I don't know, 10, 15 miles offshore and Jessica was still having a call with her parents. Um, yeah. 
and it was just fine uh, over FaceTime. So, I just want you guys to know I was helming and chatting with someone. That's a big step. It was really and cool. I think we need to tell them a little bit about the sale, but let's answer some more questions first. Um, do not rush your adventure. You have a lifetime. Great, great advice. But wait, but, and, but, but oh, just, sorry, did I, the rest, of the, 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 rest sorry, of the answer sorry. is, is we also have, um, sorry satellite communication. That. So we have, um, we have an Iridium Go and the Iridium Go has yet to be activated because we haven't been offshore really, but because that's an expensive, uh, bill to have. But once we do have it, we'll have the ability to get text messages and, and sort of send out emails and, and have very slow, 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 slow connections. But but yeah, we, we do have some visibility to, to the outside world when we're offshore. Yeah. Um, okay, so a couple that so do not rush your adventure. You have a lifetime. Absolutely. And I think the worst thing you can do is rush the adventure when you're on a boat. That's when bad things happen. How are the stars at night? It depends on where you. It depends on where we are. Um, I would say where we are now. It's actually quite nice. Right here is pretty good in Port yeah. Camargue, and there's really great sunsets. Um, they were not. It wasn't as great in year. No, that's but I tower. think the more we get out into the ocean, the, the better they're going to be. And we haven't. We haven't done it. We've only done night sailing once. Well, so. the the thing is that because France is still under sort of a quasi they call it confinement and uh, a quasi lockdown. They just opened up restaurants on Wednesday on Wednesday. Yeah. And, and God knows we're just, we're so ready to go to restaurants like every night, yeah. <laughs> but so that we're going to enjoy that for the next couple of days. But essentially, um, there is, there's still a confinement in terms of a curfew. So you cannot be out between the hours of 9 PM and 6 AM. And that includes on a boat, yeah. unless you're going like across countries or right. or sort of areas like if we were to go to corsica which is still part of spain i mean it's still part, part of, of france, france we can we can do that overnight trip and we're fine yeah but but in terms of just going from you know one town to another at night you know they'll find you and the fine is about 130 euros ahead yeah so it's a lot of money so no we haven't really done a lot of night sailing so but we really will um okay so let's see oh a cooper says i love your hair you look so pretty thank you that's Aaron. thank you I think. Oh, that's our Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. Aaron. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is this is honestly I don't I do nothing to my hair. I use Lush hair products. I use the shampoo conditioner bar. If anyone wants some tips here, um, because uh, it's all in one, it's nice and easy, um, and it doesn't bother my allergies because there's a lot of a lot most of the shampoos bother my allergies. Um, there's some pink in there. I'm going to probably repink it. And this is just what happens when I get out of the shower. I only comb it when I wash it, which is every couple days. And then I just leave it. I, I really don't like to do much to my hair. And I just wear hat um, all year long. But we'll have something to show you. What? Well, I got a haircut. Your hat? I got a haircut. We'll get a haircut, guys. Look at that. Can you see it? Well, wrong way. This when way. It, look yeah, at that. Yeah, I got it. You know, it, it's just... It's a summer trim. He got a haircut while I was gone. And you know what they say about men who get new underwear and haircuts while their wives are out of town? The, they, they like to be clean. They're sailors. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Pia says, how's it going with the seasickness? Ah, we're going to... So... Let's, we'll talk about that. Um, let's talk about that when we talk about how the sail went. Okay, right? okay. We can okay, we're going to circle back to that. Um, we have a note here. Cats are good. A tarantula... No. Tarantula, no way. <laughs> can you imagine? So we did a night hike when we lived in Costa Rica, and we went looking for tarantulas. And we did that night hike. We actually slept in the woods in these cabins that had, like, gaps underneath the doors like this, and I could not sleep all night. It's amazing I, you reference that. That was actually part of the opening monologue of the, of the last, last one yeah oh I'm my gosh i can't even hand. imagine having a tarantula they're 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 meaty and strong and big and muscly and scary i don't think so that was like um, back in the day that was 2014 that was uh let's see are you guys going to the big rally making the crossing to the caribbean we're gonna cross um what big rally the arc is full so right. i think we're gonna have to create our own world towning rally um, we have well, well. We know a ton of people who are crossing. We right know a lot of people who are crossing around the same time as the arc. And we're and all gonna kind of. We don't get know. Together, we're, we're, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not joining the arc. We're do, we're having our own mini arc. <laughs> if it leads around the same time as the arc, so be it. But we don't know <laughs> at this point. Uh, we still have to organize the whole thing. Um, can you can use HF radio to bring in email and weather data? Uh, we don't have an SSB. Um, we have. Someone actually referred us to one of those, and 
I think just with the Iridium Go at this point, we may we may be okay for now. Um, yeah. I like li- I like the idea of an SSB because then you can sort of really just talk to people almost halfway around the world, but but we don't have one of those. Yeah, um, online psychotherapy says we'll be in Portugal come October. See you in Lagos, maybe. I don't know if we're going to make it to Portugal, are we? That's not the plan. It's not part of the plan, although I'm dying to go there because everyone says it's really, really cool. But, guys, the plans change. I mean, this morning we woke up and we didn't know where we were going to land. And within an hour, we had a destination that we were going to. So we, things definitely do change. We, we have a couple plans. So, I mean, because we have because we have you know a 13-year-old and a 16-year-old, we, we do we do like spending time with the family, but we also know that sort of they want to interact with other other people their own age. Mm-hmm. Um, so we do frequent the Kids for Sale Facebook group and figure out where people are. And if we see it, sort of there's something big happening, you know, we would we would we would we would venture that idea out yeah, there and yeah. see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Do you want to talk about the sale? Yeah. So basically, we just we just sailed for two days. I think I'm a little windburn. We did the exact Where's opposite. Red? We did the exact opposite of what we did two months ago when we sailed from here <laughs> to, to Yeah. We went from, from Yeah, France back to here. And and it was not, like we said, it was not intentional. It, was, it wasn't anything else. And it was quite a traumatic sail. If you guys, we didn't film a ton of it, but we did talk about it. Um, it was a traumatic sail, particularly for me. I was incredibly seasick the first day. Um, and the second day, by the time we landed and hit ground in the dock, I said to Will, I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to keep trying this. You know, anything that's hard and scary and whatnot in life is worth it. But I really was just really hating it, thinking I don't want to I don't want to take this thing out to sale for like another year. Um, I, clearly, I feel differently now, but it was an awful experience. And I, I came out of it and I was taking different trying different seasickness stuff. Um, but I was, we also had a really hard time coming out of Marseille. We had um, almost two meter swells. Right. And it was it was scary. It was, it was, scary. It was scary. So anyway. But but when we say that this 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 last sort of passage was the inverse of the first one, it was it was almost identical to the first one. It was in in, in the opposite way. So instead of having this massive tailwind tailwind, listen to me. Um, <laughs> in terms of having 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 um what oh my yeah gosh. I do listen I want to pre- I want to preface this by saying we're really tired right now. We sailed for ten hours yesterday and ten hours today. So if we sound a little loopy, it's because, well, Will's, instead, Will's instead had a couple sips of his beer and no, we've okay. been sailing for 20 instead hours. Instead of going 100% downwind like we did last time, we, we're going, we went 100% upwind this time, which we just, it, in, in essence, it turned into just one massive motor sail for two days. Yeah, uh, which, we only got to, we only got to sail without the motor for about two hours. And, and that was, that was no fun. But, but, but it was, but it was good because... What I was what I was was dreading was when you do an upwind sail and if the winds are you know winds they were they got up to like twenty five knots around there yeah um you know having the swell going jumping up over the swell and and it wasn't that bad I think we had and I, I think we got pretty lucky today we had about one and a half meter swells um and because I had the fear last time I think Will was really concerned about seasickness. And my fear, because those are things that I have to get over. And and I realized that with anything, with experience, you get over it. Like, that just happens. And I knew that was part of my problem. And Will has had a lot more experience at this point. Not a lot, but he's had more experience because he's been on the boat. And him and Largo have been sailing. And I've been kind of, you know, in Spain in a house with Avalon. So all that being said, I wasn't scared. Um, the kids were f- fabulous. I mean, they they just, they're really good. Even though Avalon threw up, she's, they're, just, they're just amazing on the boat. Will was wonderful. And I decided this time, so this is where we're going to go to the seasickness. Um, I wore the relief band that one of our patrons, Sue, um, um, passed on to me after her Antarctica trip. Thank you. Thank you, Sue and Ray. Um, And I had it on for the first day. There's only five settings and two today. And it zaps you. (laughs) You know, you get to a point where you don't even notice it. Um, But I also made the decision to not leave the helm at all. So I spent... 10 hours at the helm yesterday and I spent about nine hours would you say at the helm today but you did awesome for the one hour nap I took the only thank you honey you did awesome the Listen. only time I left the helm was to go to the bathroom twice I went twice yesterday and after the first time I said I don't know if I'm gonna go again I'll just go in my pants because it was pretty traumatic coming on the boat and then today I went to the bathroom once and then I will kind of push me and said, I want you to try and take it a step further. Why don't you lay down in the chair like you were last time when you were facing back to and take a nap. Um, and I'm on some stuff for my, my tooth so I can fall asleep pretty easy. Right. <laughs> and 
take a nap and see if it affects you. We're almost in. And so I took a nap and I felt great. Um, and it worked really well. I did have ginger tea. I nibbled on ginger candies. Um, I had some ginger gum. I made sure my stomach was always full. I was constantly eating. And Will Will um, was constantly feeding me. Will spent a lot of time in, inside with the kids preparing food and taking care of other things and checking the weather. And I just stayed at the helm um, navigating the whole time. And I think I'm going to continue. I'm going to do that whole combination from here on out. And be at the helm as much as possible unless someone else wants it you know it's not that exciting at the helm especially when you're when you're you know you're 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 head to wind and you're just motoring you know but it kept me focused and so i'm hoping i'm getting my sea legs now so i hope that answers kind of the question about the seasickness but um, but, it, but it, it's almost like night, night and day this time versus last time you i think so you yeah. were i think listen you, everyone, I everyone in the comments has been saying has been telling Jessica just give it time it'll get there yeah it'll get there people and, have been really supportive which is really great I and, appreciate it and I, I really do think that sort of we're turning we're turning a corner on this now point. I did I mean not to get it too deep into this but when I was in Spain I have I've had um, some vertigo issues for about two years now and so I went to a doctor there and he sent me to get some tests done and they found that my inner ear on my left inner ear is not responding at all to the tests so I have to take the results back to the specialist and he's going to evaluate them. So that could have something to do with it as well. I mean, I, I don't have any pain or anything like that, but I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'm determined to get to the bottom of this because being seasick is really miserable and it really makes you hate the experience. And I, I just cannot have that. But this, you is, know? this just goes to tell you that if anyone has a partner who is reluctant to sailing, um, I, I don't know, give it time. Because it, it yeah. does it does come around and and, and I think and I, I mean really I, listen I'm, that it's worth it's worth trying it out. And I don't think I'm cured. Through the pain. I mean I think it's going to take time, you know. But I had less fear this time, and I also I I'm trying everything I can possibly try. Any suggestions you guys have given? I'm I have a list, and I'm going through the list and trying everything. And I think we like, should come up with a vlog for that, like everything. The seasickness one. Oh I've made a list of everything. I have it all written down. What works, what doesn't. Um, and I think like Will said, you know, if you have a partner that's really concerned about this, give it time. And I think as the, the mate of someone who, who's having issues with seasickness, he was, he's been really fabulous. Um, he has, doesn't have any issues with me being at the helm. He recognizes that now I am the captain and, there you go. <laughs> um, he is the captain and I'm just at the helm. Basically it's how it goes. Um, and he's really good about making sure I'm still eating and making sure I'm getting what I need to kind of keep me in a good space. And it really, it is a team effort. He just doesn't get seasick. He doesn't have the, any fear at I have all. No problems with it. Um, and so he's really good at kind of making sure I'm kind of, you know, I was like doing everything. I was, I was out, I was, I was making meals. I was doing the dishes. I was, <laughs> I was like, hey, does anyone need anything? Cause otherwise, I mean, it's nice to sit outside and watch the, watch the seagull by, but eventually you get bored. So you right? just have to figure out, you know, what am I going to do next? All so right, so this we, get some, nice. we get some right. comments and then we can let, get more let, back to the let's, sale. Let's do, let's do like lightning answers because okay. there's a okay. lot of okay. comments. Okay, um, uh, advisable for the first trip across the ocean, do your homework, learn, and plan well. Great advice. Absolutely. We're either taking crew with us or we're actually going to have a captain come with us um, because we still will not have that much experience under our belt. Um, Joan uh, from Portland, currently in San Diego on our boat, but heading for Panama in the fall. Awesome. Um, um, have we, do you follow any other boaters on YouTube? And if so, would you consider buddy boating or meeting with others that have kids of a similar age or socialize? Absolutely. Um, we are, there's a family that we're trying to hook up with. They don't have a YouTube channel, but they're in Spain. Um, we're in there in at the islands and our plan is to meet up with them this summer. Um, we're totally up for meeting up with other, um, boat but whether they have kids or not, um, we we love meeting up with other people. We've had off, we've had we've had some offline conversations with with other other couples who yeah. have channels, um, and, and we are we're very excited to see if our paths will cross. Absolutely, um, because it's it's it it's you know I don't know I, I I'm really enjoying sort of the people that we're meeting um, on, on on this sailing world. And yeah, so they've been really. We've said it before. They've been really kind and wonderful and lovely, and we're meeting some amazing people. Okay, let's see more some more questions here. Hold on. Um, oh la la la. Are you still glad you bought the boat? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. It was between the boat and the house, and I just said to Will two days ago before we took the sail, and I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I said, I'm still, I, you know, I still have some things that are, that are hard. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pretend they're not anything worth having takes time to adjust to. 
Um, but I said to him, I said, I'm so glad we didn't buy the house. And for those of you who don't know, we were considering remodeling a house in France through COVID and then starting traveling again full time after that. We still ask ourselves that same question every time a big bill comes up. It's like, are you sure you don't want the house? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, because this has definitely turned into more money than we thought it was going to be. Um, can you Thank make... you, Edward, for the super chat. Thank uh, you, Edward, thank you. for the super chat. We're going to pass it on okay. to the kids. Yeah, I know you probably did it like a couple minutes ago. But I'm more a little behind. I'm a little, on, little yeah. behind. Um, can you make a vlog where you give a boat tour? Yes, that is something that's on our list. Absolutely. We've set, we put on the list for the summer in the islands when the weather's the, nice. The issue with that is that we want to wait till everything's done. But I, I think we're realizing that we'll never get to the point where everything is done. Yeah. So that may come sooner than later. Um, okay, so stick with the sailing. What is scary now will soon be exciting. I totally agree. As I was at the helm today, I was saying in my head, I was saying, if it scares you, it usually means you should do it, right? Because you're going to stretch yourself. You're going to learn. You're going to grow. And, and that's really incredibly important. And that has been kind of something that we've lived by. Um, and that's that's why we've been traveling since 2014, because this is this is how we feel. It's all scary. You know, it's all scary at some point. Um, did you guys it's, try? It's, it's funny because because it's all scary. And it and it in the moment, you're just like, oh, my gosh, just get over it. And then in the hindsight, you're just like, remember when, when we were just starting? It's all, we, so get, we get all nostalgic. It was like, <laughs> yeah, in the moment. Um, did you guys try to tack at a certain degree and then tack again to get to the destination? So we had to be no. here. We didn't. And we know we could have done that. But the problem was that we had to be here by seven, period, um, to make the live. But also by nine, if we for some reason we couldn't make the live and something happened, we have to be here by nine for curfew. Right. So we could not, we could not, we did, time was not in our favor. However, and there's not really many places to stop between here and there that, it, that fit a catamaran. It's getting to be busy season. So we didn't want to be stuck with no place. There's not a lot of spots to anchor also after Marseille um, that would work well for us that we felt comfortable with, with our skill level. So we, we made the choice to not tack. Although after we leave here, the plan would be to tack, 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 tack to get more experience. I mean, the way that this whole area is, it's, it's not, it's, it's not a lot of, I'm not going to say it's not fun, but it, it's, it's basically, if you are not traveling East, you got to be ready to go into the wind a hundred percent. Um, that's just, I mean, it's yeah. like, it's like a funnel between, um, between basically um, Nice and and Barcelona, yeah. um, and that whole area, you know, it, the wind just comes in and howls. You get this massive like like northwesterly Sounds wind fine, that right? comes in, um, and it, it it's like that way. I would say six days out of seven, uh, without question. And then the other day is just no wind. Yeah. So if you want to go if you want to go west, you need an easterly. And in our case, we don't, we're not getting an easterly to save our lives around here. So. You're either tacking, like you said, or you're you're going just 100% uh, yeah. into the wind. And and at that point, I don't know, for us, we're just like, just bite the bullet and then just turn on the motors and go. So this is a great question. And but, we... our, but hold on, hold on. But, Sorry. But, but our next journey, which is now heading, because where we are now, we're, our next journey is going to be heading more south. So we can use that, that wind and yeah. sail the rest of the way. So what we've done in these last couple of days has been 100% on motor the rest of the way is going to be 100 percent no motor so we're really excited about that and, and we're not going to have the time constraints either right. so if we don't have the wind in our favor we can tack 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 back right and forth. right right and so for those of you because Ann and lee had a great question so tacking is is how would you describe tacking because she and okay Ann lee says can you explain to non-sailors why you didn't leave the helm is it rougher in the cabin so at the helm you have the horizon that you can look at the horizon. If you're looking at the horizon, it's supposed to help with seasickness. Well, because you're you have also, you have, you have a base of comparison, so your your equilibrium, your, right. your crystals in your ears, sort of sort of know what is level, like that, and you're just like, okay, I can see it, I'm good. If you look backwards, it's just it's just it's not just, a good it, idea. It look, it seems like the same thing, but it's not. It's and I, not, and I don't know why. Also, your brain is occupied, so you're not thinking about the seasickness. You're looking for other boats. You're making sure you're on your course. So you're not focusing and fixating on it so much. And for me, at least, you have we have the, the bimini, so the cover, windows open, and the cool air is coming in. So when you see the vlog that we just shot in a couple of weeks from the sale, Will has bare feet. I think the kids have t-shirts on. I'm completely bundled up with a hat, a hood, a coat, because I'm right in the wind coming to me, and they're all sitting down in the cockpit. 
and they're not getting as much wind. Um, so that's kind of, those are kind of like the very beginner basic recommendations of look at the horizon, um, you know, and face forward for people that have seasickness. And I did not do that so much last time um, because I got seasick right away and just wanted to sit down. So I just made sure I was right at the helm. Like I was at the helm the second, the second we um, anchored up. Like I didn't, and I didn't go down again. Uh, I find that when I go down, you know, in a catamaran, we have the cockpit and the, um, excuse me, the um, saloon at area is almost at the same level. But if you have to go into the kitchen um, or the bathrooms, and I'm, I'm not using, I'm not going to use sailor terms there because I want everyone to be able to understand, you have to step down. And the bathroom, in my opinion, is the worst room to go into. It is really rocky. And, and you go in there and you're like this, and you're trying to go to the bathroom, and you, you have a little bit of, you know, a porthole you can see out, but everything's all over the place. So if you do get seasick, those are the places you'd, you'd kind of rather not, you'd not go. Um, and then tacking. You're, and I'm not going to say this with all the technical terms because I'm new too, but the wind is coming at you. So you've got to kind of go away, like out and then bring yourself back in. So you got to zigzag with the wind. So you use the wind to your advantage to push you one way and then turn right. and push you the other way. Is that a good explanation? Yeah, that's good enough. Um, so yeah. And if you guys, if we're saying anything and you're not a sailor and you are like, Hey, can you explain that? Yeah, please, please let us know because um, I think it's really good to sh kind of share all, all the information, um, uh, let's see. Plus, thank know. you for watching and, and 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 dealing with our sailor stuff. Do we not have <laughs> Do we not have auto helm? So we do. We do. Um, we had it on for a bit. Um, I actually felt that I needed practice, um, being at the helm and 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 practicing because it was swelly in the beginning. Um, so I you kind of you know I'm making sure that I'm not getting off course. And so the the auto helm or autopilot will it's like a car. It'll keep you on course. But I wanted to have more feel for it because I, I'm not super comfortable when the sails are up um, navigating and kind of do, and managing it on my own. And I did that for most of the time. There was a little bit um, that we put it on autopilot and Will and I were chatting and hanging out there. Um, I find when I'm on autopilot, uh, my mind tends to wander a bit. Goes on autopilot. My mind goes on <laughs> autopilot, and I'm not looking for boats and stuff as much. Um, and I'm sure that as the more experience I get, the more focused I'll be. So my mind just starts to wander. It's not I, just that, but I also, like to go ahead. There's that. also a lot of fishing vessels, and then a lot of like sort of like crab pots. So, I mean, once you turn on the autopilot, and your mind starts to, starts 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 to drift. You don't you don't look for those crab pots, and then you know, bad things can happen. So it, for us, we're just trying to say if, 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 you know, we'll use it if we need a break to go ahead and sort of either mind a line or something like that, or go down, go underneath because you have to, but, but for the most part, you know, we're going to hand steer. Yeah. And, and, you know, our, our passages so far have not been that long where it's uncomfortable and yeah. we, with the two of us sort of trading off, um, I mean, it I'm, hasn't been so bad. I'm, and, and, and more than anything else, but excuse me, no, it's fine. Um, is that we um, like to cut each other off? I'm sorry, guys. More than anything <laughs> it doesn't else, bother us. Hope when, it doesn't bother when, when Avalon and Largo are done with school, they're going to be taking on some of the, yeah. the helming as well. So, you know, yeah. And Pauline says, are you going to work in shifts during night sales? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Probably four, four hour shifts. Um, uh, we tried putting earplugs while underway for seasickness. I have not. Um, is that a thing? Well, I've, I've, I have one of the things on my list is to put an earplug in your, your, an earplug in the opposite hand ear that you, of the hand you write with. I haven't tried that yet, and but I did and have and, and jump then... up and down and, you know, and I did have both AirPods in my ear today when I was talking with my parents, um, but I was at the helm. So I don't know if it made any difference. Um, Will, are there times when you would make your crew walk the plank? <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's not a question for today. <laughs> um, I haven't even been back. I've only been back a week, so probably not yet, but, <laughs> um, the kids are great. Um, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for, I'm ready for summer vacation to occur. I'm ready for school to be over. Yeah. We're both ready um, for it to be done. You know, there's, there's just been a lot of, of sort of, let's just say that, uh, our kids take their studies really, really very serious, very seriously. Yeah. And so, you know, as, as most kids do during, towards the end of the year, um, you know, a lot of just, we're ready for them to be, have yeah. a mental break from school. Yeah. Yeah. It's but time. Yeah. 
Um, Sailing Naho is a phenomenal channel. Even they get seasick tum signs and they're hugely experienced sailors. They are a great channel. I, I like, like that. Sailing Naho. They're, yeah, they're, they're a I lot think of fun. A couple of people have commented and said that they thought we'd get along really well with them. Um, how much water can you pack on the boat? We hold, right, actually right behind us is our water tank. Uh, we hold 400 liters and we can generate water as well. Um, we can generate water. We can generate water at the level of about um, twelve to sixteen liters an hour around there. I haven't really tested exactly how much because um, we haven't really had that that that. We haven't been on the hook long enough. We haven't been on the hook long enough. Yeah. But but in general, um, we can. The, the only issue with the water maker, like anything else, is that it uses power. So we try and be conservative with our water usage, but we know that you know if we if we if we're conservative, and then we make you know maybe we'll run the water maker like one or two hours a day, and then, I, then we'll be fine. I think we'll probably have more answers to that because our goal is to stay. So not the previous owner, but the owner before that. I think they said they stayed on the hook in this chain of islands we're going to for like 150 days or something like that. Right. So our goal is to really stay on the hook as much as possible this summer, unless there's a reason um, that we, sorry, my neck hurts from all that helming today. Oh, I might need a massage tonight. The really cool part, <laughs> what are you trying to say? I don't know. The really cool part about the water thing is that um, because it's summer, you know, we're getting a lot of sunlight. And so the solar panels are doing really well uh, generating electricity. So, we, you know, on a sunny day, we're fine. Um, when it comes to winter, I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. I'm really concerned. But we're going to be in warm weather when it comes to winter. Right. Sailing Excess says, uh, I can't wait to get down to the Med. Warn kids for sale. Hopefully we see you out there. Yes. If yes. you see us, let us know. We would love to meet up with some other kid boats. Does the new solar install work well? It does. It does. So we have a total of 770 watts of solar. Um, some of the panels are older. So I don't expect optimal <clears throat> usage from it. And some of them are like strapped onto like the, the, the deck. So you like don't the, those flexible ones. Yeah, so the so you don't get a hundred percent of the of the value of that because there's no it if it gets hot outside, you know, you don't get much cooling. <laughs> the most I've seen generated in one particular moment is six hundred and twenty five watts, which I was pretty psyched about. All Will does is look at the solar and then report. I do. And then I do. I, I geek out of that all the he time. He reports back to me like I care. He'll like, right. call, he was calling me in Spain. Do you know how much solar we generated today? I'm like, no, I don't. The most we've generated, oh, that's please, a good question. Please, please The tell most me. we've generated in one day is uh, three and a half kilowatts. So that was that was a day where we had all cloudy the day before. So right. they're working over. Okay, so I don't care about that. I, I don't care. No, I know. But <laughs> if they, they care, so if they ask the question, you can answer it. Someone please email Will so he can have an email solar buddy. I love that. Okay, so this is a great quite so great comment question. What are the strongest winds you've been sailing in now? I remember previously you mentioned that any more than five knots was too much. Wow. I don't know if we do we say five knots? I don't Maybe know. Maybe fifteen. Um, let's see. Let's see what's the, the highest most, we've been. The most we've seen in a gust has been like thirty two. No. No, no, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we're, to, yeah, 40. That's we're under motor. But the, yeah. mo but the most that we okay, so the most that we've done under motor is uh, underway has been like forty two around three, there, something around like that. There. And then that, that was, was pretty scary. Yeah, that was no fun. But um, <clears throat> the most we were doing <clears throat> while we were under wind was like thirty two knots that we did, and we and we had we had a reef in at that point. Yeah, um, and we were okay. Um, I'm I'm most and comfortable. And that was with our that was with our instructor. Our instructor. I'm most comfortable between eighteen and about. 26 with some reefs in um but it, it's 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 grown right i mean it's 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 growing as we become more experienced right. um the world in us thank you can't wait to start um uh i love our world around our world around the world adventures love you guys love what you guys are doing thank you um um most important thing is you're moving and it is still part of sailing exactly um, the world in us wants to know, I'm curious how COVID is affecting your decisions on where to go next and future plans. Um, okay. So our travel philosophy, even before COVID is, um, we always follow the rules of the country that we're going to, or that we're in. Um, and that's just that we feel like that's the most respectful thing to do. We are a guest in these countries. And if we don't like their rules, then we shouldn't be in their countries. That being said, the same has existed for COVID. Um, we followed all the rules. Uh, we were in Japan in the beginning of COVID and we followed all the rules and everything that they asked us to follow there. 
And when we came back to France, we've done the same thing here. So we've been in some really intense lockdowns. Uh, restaurants were closed for seven months and we did not step foot in a restaurant. Um, and if there was one that was kind of bootlegged open, we didn't go in it. Um, it's just, it's our travel philosophy and our kind of, not philosophy, but our, our way of being respectful towards the countries that we travel to. We will never ever um, sail into a country assuming that they'll let us in or forcing our way in or thinking we can force our way in if they have COVID restrictions. We would just not do that. So that's kind of how our whole path has been is that we will go someplace if we know we're allowed to go in and if they require a test or if they require a vaccine or whatever, we will do what they request and follow those rules. Um, Plus, I mean, what are you going to do otherwise? I mean, you just don't yeah. go there because, you know, what, how can you, how can you manage it? Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, it, it, it's the same way that, that sort of we appreciate when people come to, to the United States and they, they respect our customs. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So we do the same. We do the same. Um, let's see. Do, 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 let's see. Good questions. Um, um, so this might be a dumb qu suggestion. There's never a dumb suggestion. Um, but have you tried using earplugs? Ah, the earplugs one again. I It's on my list. I haven't tried it yet, but it's on my list. Um, I recommend installing a water desalinator. Um, we have one. We have one. We have a Katahdin uh, power... Uh, power... power A Katahdin Power Survivor 80E. Remember, we sailed for 10 hours today. <laughs> and and we can't speak. And it, and it does the job well. Um, that actually, that's actually, we we talk about that in the next vlog where we we're, um, we're getting that ready to go. Pia wants to know the spice rack status. Okay, so this is where I got the <laughs> quote for the spice rack. I think this is the reason why we're back in this port. To tell you the truth. And Will was we were talking about it today on the sale. And there's a lot of time to talk about things when you're on a sale. And Will and I, even though I was at the helm, I say I was at the helm the whole time. Often he was sitting and chatting with me, like we were together there. Um, and he's, and what was the thing that came, I said, maybe I can get my spice rack now. Maybe they're on sale, but I was joking because no, that's not going to happen here. Not just um, that, but, but it's like when we lived in the RV, if, if you want to get RV service done in the middle of the summer season, you have to wait like three months. It's the same thing yeah. for boats. If you want to get some like major custom work done, um, at this point you have to like book out like three months in advance and no one is going to, the guy who we want. Yeah. He's not, he, he said, and um, he's out of our price range. So he's out of our price range. I'm going to, I'm going to get out of our time frame. I'm going to get that damn spice rack. I'm just going to have to make it myself. That being said. All right. Um, how many are on the Galapagos islands trip? So we have, we can only, for those of you who don't know, Will and I run group trips. Um, they were put on a major pause. All of our trips for 2020 were canceled because of COVID. Um, so we've been on a pause and we just relaunched our two trips, um, one for October to Morocco and then one in January for the Galapagos. And the Galap typically we'll take about 16 people. The Galapagos trip, we can only take 12 um, because of the, the boat that we're taking around only fits 16 and there are four of us. So we have four spots. I think it's four spots. I have to go check. Um, but I think we have four spots left on that. So if you have any questions, you can send me an email. Um, worldtowningvoyages.com has all the prices for the trips and the itinerary and videos and all that kind of stuff. Um, I can't wait to go back. I can't wait to go back. Either. I cannot wait. I will say that is our family's number one experience that we've had in, without, without in seven years of full-time travel. It is worth it. It's, it's an expensive trip. The Galapagos is an expensive trip. It just is, but it is one of those trips that of a lifetime and I, I cannot recommend it enough. Um, but anyway, um, okay. Um, if you're conservative now with your water usage, then you are now cruising sailors. Oh, we're conservative, but we got these two things on board called Teen 1 and Teen 2. <laughs> Who we're working on. We're working on. Largo's pretty good. Um, so, so Well, Avalon hasn't been on the boat. Avalon right. took off for six weeks. Right. So. When, when, when it was just him and I, um, we actually went through... Gosh, I'm giving away the next vlog. Well, don't week. give it all away. But we, we went through... <laughs> The, the 400 liters here, it it basically went through it and we did laundry. It it took it basically lasted us more than two weeks. Yeah. Which was which was amazing. But they didn't um, shower for two weeks. That's not true. <laughs> but but either way. Um, and then that was it without using the water maker. So, you know, we're, Laura and I are pretty good about that. Thank you for the recommendation, the world and us. And Lee, thank you for the thank super you. chat. That's so very sweet. Very, very sweet. Thank you. Um, Let's see. Uh, it was touching to see you and Largo navigate and sail freely under wind. Did you feel a huge sense of relief? 
You did. I did. I did. You did. It, it was really special. It was really nice. Um, it, it, it was interesting because for the last couple of vlogs, and including the one coming up, uh, where Jessica and I are apart, you know, we, 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 we were basically, you know, running solo shows uh, on our own. And, and it was, it was, it was, there's a lot that did not get put yeah. into the vlogs because there's only so much you can fit in. Yeah. But um, Largo and I had, we, it was really beautiful. It was really cute. Um, I, 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 you know, there was a point where they suggested Alan and I not come back. No one ever wants to be separate from the family, but if you can have like an experience, you know. Yeah, I think so. It, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty excited. I had a comment in there. You've not read my comment. Sorry, I, I'm trying to get to all of them. Put it in there again. I apologize. Um, Remember the name. You can generate electricity from an engine or generator. Is there not enough? If there is, there not is if. If there is not enough sun, can't can't you generate electricity from an engine or a generator we if there's can. not enough sun? We can. We ha we have a generator. We don't have we don't have like a dedicated like diesel generator. We have you know um, the makeshift not the makeshift, but we have sort of the the other the other type. We have a gasoline engine. Uh, but, uh, my gosh, it's okay. we have a petrol. It's okay. We generator. were sailing for. It's a Honda. <laughs> it's not a marine generator, but a lot of sailors have them. Um, it generates up to like two thousand watts, and that is that is our our method for actually using the the washing machine when we're when we're out of the anchor. So anytime, if you're gonna be around us, anytime that you hear the generator going on, even though it's a sunny day. It's because we're doing our laundry. We're doing laundry because yeah. otherwise we try not to run it because it's well really, because it's our obnoxious. our inverter is not strong enough to do yeah. the. The actual but don't worry, machine. we don't do laundry that often. So, no. <laughs> I have five versions of the same shirt. <laughs> he just doesn't change it. Team World Town, and you're amazing. Thank you, Thank Andrew. You. That's very sweet. Iris, I can't wait to go on the Galapagos trip. It's it's gonna be amazing. Um, how fast is a knot in both miles per hour and um, is it metric or imperial? Stupid question. I know. Uh, do you know the answer to that? How fast is a knot in both miles per hour? I think it's like one point. I think it's like one. You better Google it. I don't. Why don't you say you're going to the bathroom and find the answer and come back? Oh my gosh! I, <laughs> so it's more. It's more. It's more than a mile per hour. I think it's like one point two miles per hour. If if I was to answer that with any sense of authority, which I have none. Um. um I'm sorry to hear that, Tony. Um lost his mom to covid Sorry guys i you know I, i'm not going to go into the whole covid thing now but i do want to say if anyone's we've we know five people that have passed away from covid um and if anyone's lost anyone um you know that they love or that's a good really good friend or whatever because of covid i'm really really Sorry to hear that. I, I do want you to know from the bottom of the, our heart, we're sorry. And, and Will and I have been very, very diligent of being safe, um, not only for ourselves, but for other people um, that were around. And we have, we wear our masks and do all that other kind of stuff. Um, please don't comment that we shouldn't be wearing masks and it's bad for us and all that stuff. Um, we wear them and we do it because we want to protect others. And so I'm really sorry if anyone's lost someone they've loved. It's really been... Um, someone said on here, if you're a real sailor, you swear it's been a really shitty 12 months for all of us. So <laughs> you're going gonna to use that card whenever you can. Yeah. I'm just going to use that one. So, um, there's a lot of swearing on this boat. Yeah, there's a lot of swearing. I'm the rainy winner. We have a swear chart and, um, yeah, it was when I was designing the website, but anyway, um, um, so, so, so Michi nature. All so right. One nine goes 1.15. Right. I just looked it up as well. Thank um, you guys uh, for helping out. It's, we are newbies. Yeah. We're getting there. <laughs> we're very newbies. Should we get the kids out here? I think they're like, let's bring them out. If they're, if they're, um, if they're ready. Hey, they're... Avalon and Largo. You guys want to come out and say hi? Yes. All right. So Edward. Here comes, here comes the really, the really, the, the stars of the show. Edward left. Us. Edward, Edward left. Hold on. Here. Is this, is this the one you were talking about before? Um, about losing the yeah. mom? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so Edward, you said upgrade your alternator to a higher amp to okay. generate more. We, <laughs> we got to get closer. We Come have, on. so on, on, both, on both engines. Wait a minute. Had, let me move this back a little um, bit. We had two Balmar 100 amp engine, okay, 100 on, amp alternators. <laughs> um, we had one replaced because one broke, and so, um, and 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 at this point, the we're actually only running the Balmar engine as to charging the house batteries, just because 
two two alternators running off of what alternating amps don't like to sort of play with each other nicely. So yeah, that's what we have. All right, we got to squish in. All right, do you guys have any questions for these crazy kids of ours? Um, it all comes from Will's side of the family, by the way. There's a bit of a delay, so we're most likely not going to get it until like a couple seconds later. Yeah. All right, so I should... um, you can ask me. Who's longer just staring at the mom? comments? <laughs> um, let's see. What can I ask you guys for a question? All right. Um, Avalon, you christened the boat yesterday. Did? You oh, were the first person on. to throw is up. Is that really considered christening? <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure christening it was me was jumping into the water. Up. It was like retching. Okay, okay, you christened it from jumping into the water. Avalon christened it by throwing up. Um, any thoughts on that? Did you feel better after, right? I felt much better afterwards, like, and I just jumped back into the class I was teaching at that time, so, yeah, I was fine, really. Did much your Did your student think that was really weird? <laughs> I think I thought it was funny, and that's it. <laughs> I don't know. It'd Avalon, be funny. Avalon tutors in French and math. Avalon is 100% poker face, by the way, because she she basically... <laughs> she is. She doesn't show anything. By the way, did, did we, did we um, acknowledge... Yes, yeah, I did. did. Okay, okay. Um, so here's the funny thing. I If I throw up, if I'm sick, I throw up, and I'm crying. I want my mom. I'm dying. The world is coming to an end. <laughs> Will throws up and he just keeps on ticking. Both of these kids are the same way. When they were little and they'd get sick, they would throw up and then the next thing be like, okay, what's for dinner? Like they were just fine or like, okay, I'm, I'm ready to go back to school. And I'm like, don't you need to rest? Once you throw up, you feel fine. You <laughs> yeah. Uh, usually that's not how it is for me. I think this was the first time that I just like completely was fine afterwards, but it's very weird because I was sitting down last night and thinking like, wow, I threw up this morning. That's so weird. Like, because it didn't really affect me. Like, five seconds later, I was like, okay, back with my life. It was very weird. It's so weird, because if you were seasick, you would think you would stay that way. Um, right, Largo, there's, have, there's you had, have you had a haircut, yeah. Largo? Uh, no, this is the same haircut from how long has it been? Well, no, when no, did you have a haircut? You got a haircut recently. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I guess maybe slightly recently. A month like ago, Like a month maybe? and a half ago. Yeah, about a month ago. Um, online psychotherapy says, congratulations, Avalon, on your exams, and Largo on the sailing. Woo, woo. Um, how do you like being on the water? Um, it's rocky and, well, I mean, I got my sea legs very fast, but I the was... other three people didn't really get them fast. Well, dad has them. Okay, so what do you far, think? So far, I've liked the entire I'm time, like except for the 30 minutes leading up to when I got sick. Yeah, I think, I think it's probably a question best asked in about a month because Largo, Largo's really taken to it. Um, Avalon, it's not that she hasn't taken to it, it's that she's had so much studying to do this mm -hmm. year. That she's, I think I have no time to do anything but like yeah. study, and um, the book gets in the way of that. So yeah, and so it's that's been challenging for her. But she has lofty goals that we are in full <laughs> support of because they're her goals, um, which has required her to study a lot this year. And I think it's been challenging because of that. But well, you're almost a, there. We made a lot of strides though in the last forty eight hours. We did make a lot of strides. Avalon was like studying physics while. Looking backwards on the boat, right? That was fine. That was nothing. <laughs> using a using a clothespin as as a as oh, a yeah, as a cool. page holder so to windy. make <laughs> sure so windy. That, that the pages didn't flop around. Um, let's see. Do you know how lucky you are? We yeah we are we know we're lucky. We have great kids. Talking yeah. About oh, we're talking about you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we know how lucky we are. You th you're lucky, Largo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Largo's gonna live with us forever. <laughs> Avalon, you gonna live with us forever? No, God, no. <laughs> I'm not going to um, live with you forever either. Alan, did you miss boat life while being in Spain? There were certain parts of it that I did miss and certain parts that I didn't. Like, I didn't miss as much of the sailing because I was studying a lot and I didn't have time for that. Um, but I did miss Largo and Dad and just, like, having Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very sweet. She also liked taking daily um, showers. Yes, that was um, very nice. <laughs> yeah, she loved the showers. Um, Erica says, I'm so curious about Avalon's quacking when you guys enter a new country. When did you start? I always wait for it now as I'm watching your older videos. So, it might have evolved into quacking. At first, it was like me imitating air an air horn. Air horn. Yeah. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Yeah. It might sound like quacking. I don't know. It could it was, sound like quacking. I, I know the moment that it happened. It Which was like, video did it start quacking on? It was the first RV video. Really? Where, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Where she just like all of a sudden like broke into this, 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 this. Like, blah, 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 blah. It was when we entered our first country, which yeah. was Monaco. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. I would like I just have to say something that they're not all doing because they're like cheering and woohooing and I was like okay I need my own thing what am I going to do um, Nana says hi Nana and Baba. <laughs> the, gra the grandparents are watching <laughs> 
Um, have you tried dragging as seen on sailing kiwis? What's that? I don't know. What What's is that? Dragging? I'll have to look it up. I have no idea what that is. Honestly, I have no Someone idea. Someone tell that us is. what that is. Drag racing. Um, Largo, what do you call the R V and N show now? Um, S N N, but it hasn't been happening a lot because I've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> it's been off the air. You might get fired, Largo, if you get fired. I'm my own boss. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. We need to get you a new microphone, too. Right? True. It should be um, a waterproof one. Uh, she, Erica says, I didn't know exactly what the sound was intended to be. <laughs> I love it. I don't even know. It's like, it started out as something, now it's kind of evolved into something else. It's, it's very weird. Anyway. Um, we haven't been doing it. Favorite part of boat life, kids? I discovered my favorite part today, before there weren't many favorite parts. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. This was a special no, uh, yesterday. What was the favorite part? <laughs> oh, I know what the favorite part was you discovered. It was, yeah. it was almost like we broke ground today. Yep. And, and Someone not, want to tell them what you did? No, no, no. Let's just leave that for the vlog. Okay. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. Okay. It's in there. All but, right. But, it's going to be but, saved but for the vlog. <laughs> okay. What? Is there an, well, Largo, do you have a favorite part oh. outside of what? <laughs> about what's I just like went silent there for a second. About what, beside um, what you did today? I'd say my, my two favorite parts about the dinghy. I mean, the dinghy. The dinghy? <laughs> about the boat was the dinghy and the paddleboard. Those are really good. And the paddleboard came with the boat from the previous owner. So yeah. I wasn't sure if we used it, and Largo's really taken to it, and he loves it. Um, the kids on Sailing Kiwis enjoy jumping off the front of the boat and pass between the hulls and grab a line strung between the pontoons. That's a really good oh, idea. Oh, that sounds really fun. Once the water is warm enough not to right. die, if Once, you fall in, that sounds right. like a great yeah, idea. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Once the ice is off the water, <laughs> <laughs> which should happen in August for two days, um... I miss R V N N. How about A S N N? I know. Laura, your your people are calling. You gotta, I know. You know, I... you gotta get a waterproof microphone is what you gotta do. Yeah, and then do That'll it in cool. water. Underwater? That'd be so cool. When did we all get back together? Um last Saturday night. Oh yep. wow. Not not week. not the one that just passed the, a week ago. Um but like I think we said earlier, and I, and I don't know if you were here or not. It just, we came back and we just jumped in. There were so many things going on. And initially when we, Al and I got back on Saturday night, the plan was to leave Wednesday and he had a broken computer and we had all this other stuff going and I was getting my vaccine. I didn't even know the tooth was going to be pulled at that point. So it was like a rush to the finish line. Logo so I, had an orthodontist appointment. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. So, so I'm kind of, it's, it is kind of nice to have about 10 days to kind of be on uh, here so we can also reconnect. Um, um, I think Largo is a quick, lear quick learn how to sail. Yeah. 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 I, I have been doing it well because. Hello, Nadia. Um, I'm just. Yes, um, go ahead. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Largo, go ahead. <laughs> you guys, you guys just got back. So you're a little rusty. I need to be the third, a second wheel. We are a little rusty. I think we're a little rusty. Lar Says the, oh, no, no, no. Largo is No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. The kids are going to fight. I have to contradict Everyone this. quiet. Who forgot to t how to try a bowline today? Oh. I did it, though. Oh. No, it came undone. No, that was yours that came oh, undone. We did have a line that <laughs> Hers went to the water came today. undone. No, you didn't even cleat yours on. I did. It no, just it came undone. All right, no more fighting. No more fighting. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, motorhome or boat? Wow. Mm. Difficult. Okay. Uh, we had a good day today. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to say that it's as if I'm a lawyer. Uh, I'm going to plead the fifth. So here's the thing. We, ha in my opinion, we haven't been on the boat, I and mean, we've been on it a while, but we haven't sailed enough on it. We have fabulous, wonderful, awesome memories from the RV that are so incredibly special, and I anticipate we're going to have them for the boat, but we don't have them yet because we just haven't been out enough yet, and it's been COVID. So even being on a boat and learning and all these new things, COVID has sucked. So it hasn't been pretty for us for the last 12 months either, like everyone else. But Largo, you're but... I'm pretty sure the boat is better because yeah. I have more, you, you don't just stay in the continents. You can go in sea, uh, in the sea, but yeah, technically in the sea. Um, but you can also jump off the boat. Yeah. You couldn't jump off the RV and yeah, that would be, be a safe. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> will, boat or RV? I, th I think it's, it, I think history, I think, I think, I think the future will say that it's going to be the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I for instance, last night we parked ourselves in a place that it was, was beautiful. It was beautiful. We had no Wi-Fi, <laughs> um, which was 
either way. Which was and challenging because we, Avalon had to had a client last night that she right. had to teach, and, and and that that didn't work out too well. But it was yeah. it was magic. We're in, we're in, we're in this kalank, which is basically like, like a, a mini fjord. A kalank. Um, and and we just sat there and we watched a bunch of French people swim in the water that's freezing cold. Yeah. <laughs> and we had been sailing for French 10, people are tough. They are tough. We had been sailing for 10 hours and I had a toothache. I just got in bed and took a nap from like five to eight and then got up. Everyone was tired. So we weren't really enjoying it. So I'm looking forward to kind of enjoying those times. And, and if you're curious about what that looked like, the thumbnail for this live, that that's basically where we were last, where we were last night. night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Largo, did you enjoy your mimosa? Um, what mimosa? What did you mimosa have a mimosa? was the, the kid. The oh, kid right. Champion. That was actually quite good. Yeah, it was <laughs> right. good. Avalon, they were living in the lap of luxury <laughs> while you and I were eating rice and beans and Spain. And sushi. And we did go for sushi. And the exams. Largo, are you still into Lego? Oh, yes. Yes. As a matter of fact... I don't think that's ever going away. As a matter of fact, I have one right here. Okay. Largo, are you going to put Manic Panic at those highlights? A brilliant blue would suit you or steal your mom's pink? You have red. And Funny enough, I'm actually, I, I'm ordering blue. It yeah. is a blue that you ordered, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's still in the angel um, card. Largo, you did well we have sailing. To, we have to order that. Cheese or, ch- no, I, it is? Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, I yeah. thought my sister was bringing it. No. Cheese or chocolate? Go. Cheese or chocolate? Oh, easily chocolate. Cheese. Cheese and chocolate. <laughs> Will? Uh, cheese. Beer. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. Cheese over chocolate? <laughs> yeah. Lager, you have to pick one. Cheese now, now, hold on a second. If you were to ask me cheese like in, in the Bahamas, mm, chocolate. There's cheese uh, in the Bahamas? That, that's my point. <laughs> so, you know, cheese in France, by all means, yes. Yeah. What about, wait a minute, um, what about cheese in Switzerland? Oh, of course. Mm, but there's also really fondue. good chocolate there. Yeah, there is. Really I, good I still, I there. still like, like, the, I, no, no, Swiss cheese is amazing. I'd say yeah. cheese. I'd Swiss cheese, cheese, cheese is You're going to say cheese then? Because there, there's much more variety in cheese than okay, there cheese, is chocolate. Cheese, 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 chocolate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so three to one. Um, do your kids get their boat license? Yes. Avalon I could? No. <sighs> she's 18. I'm 18. She's 16. <laughs> Largo cannot until he's 16. No. But, I mean, at least I learned it. Exactly. You learned it and you can get your license when you're there, when you're that age. Um, Avalon, what book is your club reading? Ah, uh, so because of my extensive exams, I had to cancel a book club for this um, for the spring. So we're not reading anything right now, but I have a bunch of cool stuff planned for the fall. And that's going to be super exciting. It's and a if, surprise though, so I can't say anything. And if you're interested, send her an email um, because they do or fill up. Or you can up. just go to my website, which yeah. is avalonsquare.com. Um... How is your flying career going, Largo? Um, very well. I have not flied since the last <laughs> time, which was how long ago? That was two months. I think two months. Wow. Yeah. Flying is very expensive, so Largo saves his money or asks for it from from relatives for holidays, or we'll give him it to we'll give him a lesson for his birthday or something like that, um, so that he can do it. Oh. Um, what are you teaching, Avalon? Um, French. No, Spanish. French, math, and English, I think. And, okay, another question. West or east? <laughs> mm. Oh, wow, mean? so difficult. That's a tough one. West or, west or east? east what? Because depending on where you are, there's always a west and always an east. Yeah. yeah. I guess which one sounds nicer to you? Hmm. I don't know. I'm a fan of West for some reason. I like East. Well, it depends on where you start. Yeah. I'm but just, if you I'm go, just, I'm, <laughs> but no, no, if you no, no, go no, no. East, you even, get sushi. I'm completely, you go to Japan. No, 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 no. I'm completely if you that go, part. I'm just talking about the words themselves. Technically, if you go all the way East, you'll end up back in west. where you started. Yeah. yeah. And if you go all the way West, you'll just end up back where you started. It's a very weird conversation. I want to be in French <laughs> Polynesia. North. North. Whatever, whatever, whatever North. direction that takes me to, I don't care. All right, we're going to let you guys go. You did an awesome job answering questions. They were really creative. You guys are much more interesting than us. All right. I'm not going to argue with that. Avalon, <laughs> over and out. Bye. Over and out. Bye. Over and out, Bye. SNN. <laughs> All right, so we should probably let you guys go, too. Let's take some more questions, if you guys have some more questions for Will and I. Um, it can be sailing. It can be whatever. Um, not that we want to leave you, but... I don't know about you, but... But we've had a long day. I'm starting to wear down. I'm like, whoa, what a long day. 
Um, all that sailing kicked our butts, or motor sailing, I guess. But at least, so we did, you know, we talked about we did get the sail up. We did get the sails up, up for a while. Towards the end of the day today, which was really nice. Yeah. I think we were about, uh, we were about like five and a half knots, would you say? Is that we got, what we... We got up to six and change. Six knots? Yeah. Um, and it was quite pleasant. It wasn't swelly at all. And the sun actually came out, which was really, really nice. Um, and look, now for the next couple of days, I'm not going to have to worry about an anchor alarm. Right. For the next couple of days, I'm not going to worry about power generation so last night was my first night um on anchor where we i was on anchor with will and yeah but it's a very protected area and there's tons of other boats around so it's almost like if it did if it we did come on un, unhooked um and we we drifted into someone or something it wouldn't be too dangerous but la not that i want that to happen but last night when we were on the hook we were the only person in this anchorage and we were in the kalonk so there were huge cliffs around us or, or we just kind of float out into the ocean. There wasn't much of, of a harbor or bay or anything there. So I didn't sleep too well either, even though he was pretty confident and he had the anchor, you know, the anchor alarm and everything on. So um, I think we just need more experience in that area, you know, and they, yeah. him and Largo anchor anchor pretty well together um, because they've had a lot more practice. I than think it's just night. a matter of sleeping with one eye open for, for the next or how long you never oh you never God. i did that like for the first five years of the kids you're, life you're never you're never 100 percent comfortable sleeping on anchor um and that's fine you just you know it's just another version of of life thank you guys for your great questions for Outline yeah, yeah and thank you they they love they love any question that's kind of like something different than what they typically get asked and your questions are really great um, if you can afford it, MS Flight Sim has a flying log system that allows you to count your flying hours to real life. It's cool. Yeah. So, so Largo, right at this point, uses X-Plane, which was the old Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, and then now the new Microsoft one is supposed to be Rock'em Sock'em Awesome. Uh, I hear there's a lot of hardware involved with that, so I don't. we're not, yeah. we're not, we're not ready to bring it on, on the boat just yet. But, but And we try, like we don't mind if he's on X-Plane. Um, but we'd, we'd rather get him in the air. Um, obviously we can't afford to have him in the air constantly, but just so he can really experience it and make sure, you know, bef you know, kind of explore if that's something he really wants to do. Cause he does want to be a pilot when he grows up. And every time he gets in the plane, he's like, oh, this is great. Um, you probably tested all sorts of beer. Which one is the best? Ooh, that's a tough question. Okay. You only have 30 seconds. You cannot take two hours to discuss My, this. Uh, he loves craft beer. I, I love craft beer. My favorite beer, honestly, besides sort of everything in Belgium, which I love, um, is is 90 Minute IPA. Um, it's by, I forget who makes it, but um, it is, it is in my opinion, probably the best beer that there ever was. Um, who makes it? They, they were bought out by, whoever the brewery was, they were bought out by Sam Adams. Um, but yeah, it, the 90 Minute IPA is my, every time I go back to the States, I'm like, yeah, I have to have some of that, but it's you know you just you just can't, can't have too many of them because but they're we'll, really strong. wherever we are in the world, he will always order the local beer and try it. Like he uh, he always always orders the local beer. Yep. Um, and even if it's one he hasn't liked particularly before, he'll give it another shot. Uh, thank you, Zulu family. Thank you for following us since we bought the RV. That's a long time. Lots happened, right? <laughs> um. Thank you. Thank you for saying great to see us back together again. Thank you so much. Um, have you noticed the sound of the wind blowing across the gap in the self curling mainsail? Um, I said would annoy you. Not necessarily. Um, it takes a lot of sounds to annoy us. Um, because over the years we've lived in, we've lived in surf hostels. We've lived in other types of hostels. We've lived in co-working spaces. We've lived in an RV. Um, no, I so think what he's, pretty, he's saying something different. He's say, isn't he saying like a sound that makes a noise that annoys us? Right, 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 right. But like when you're sailing, because the self, instead of like a slab reef that goes up from the top, bottom up, a yeah. furling, it comes in from the bottom. So there's a yeah. little gap underneath there. Yeah. I haven't really noticed a sound there. Yeah, I well... We shouldn't. We should notice more sounds. I guess. I guess we're we, have, on a boat, we have nothing right? to compare and it to because we never had a slab reef boat. So I don't know what that sound. You know what I'm talking about, right? I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I misunderstood what he was so, saying. So, so I don't. I don't think that that is something that we were really keen to. We would probably notice it if we had a point of comparison. Right. Right. Um. So, so Carrie said, "Give it time. You will sleep well on anchor." I sure hope so. 
Um. <laughs> I think it's okay. Listen, I mean, you can tell if you're if it's if it's a calm night, then then you're fine. You know, yeah. as long as you test your, your anchor before you take off, before you sort of turn off the engine, then you're gonna be fine. If 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 you know, like anything else, if, if you hear the if you hear the winds howling, then you know your your spider senses turn on. And yeah. Then you just. It was funny because we set the alarm for five o'clock this morning, and that's when we got up and had like this intense conversation about okay, what are we gonna do? What's our decision? And then the anchor alarm started going off because we made a decision to go back to sleep for an hour. And then it started going off. And I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? So we went out and we checked and everything was fine. Um, but it was interesting because we were already awake pretty much for the day. And then it started going. We should going talk on. about that in a vlog. About what? About anchor alarms. So oh, bad. yeah. I def Well, I think we should get a little more experience first. But do you find sleeping deeper on board? Uh, I remember sailing for a week once and I slept so well. How's it? Oh, I sleep. We all sleep awesome on the boat. Um, I didn't sleep great on anchor, but I haven't. Do you have any problems sleeping on the boat? No, the kids sleep great. It it really does. I don't remember what it was like when I was a baby and being rocked to sleep, but I that's what I think what I liken it to. I mean, I you just it just is back and forth and it's really rhythmic and just I I think I'm gonna fall asleep just talking about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's two teenagers equal annoying sounds. Oh, not these teenagers. I love their sounds. I love it. Um, They're all right. smarter than we are most of the time. Yeah, they are. I know. It's true. I, w I, miss, I will miss the noise and sounds one day. It's funny because when Avalon and I came back, um, that Saturday was a long travel day. And Will and I were like, oh, we're beat. We're just going to go to bed. And then these two were up here like back and forth constantly it's like they didn't talk for six weeks and they talk like a couple times a day so the next day we go for a hike with some friends and these two are like the whole time and someone that came with us had only had, had never met the kids before and she was like wow they have a great relationship and i said they do they really do have a really great relationship they haven't seen each other in person for six weeks so there's a lot of other stuff to catch up on but they really they have a it's great really relationship special. i think it's one of the most I mean, wonderful things that's come out of our right. travel life because they are best friends. We did, we did, wonderful. We, 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 we started this whole sort of travel life of ours because we wanted to create a bigger bond and we, we wanted to spend time with them. It was most, more, it was most, mostly selfish on our end because we wanted to spend time with them. Yeah. And we wanted to give them an insight to the world that sort of very few can sort yeah. of replicate. But what, the unintentional consequence is that these two are now like the best of friends. They're best and friends. And it's yeah. really cool. It's, it's really wonderful. And it's something we hadn't, we wanted them to be close, but we didn't really have any point of comparison in the sense that, you know, when we lived in the U S they were still little, but they were still, they were already starting to be ships passing in the night. They had their own different friends and different interests and, and homework and all that stuff. And now they have so much time together and it's really, it's really, really endearing. So, okay. Last question. Then we let you guys go. Um, dream country. Ooh. I'm assuming you're asking where we would want to go, where we haven't been. Um, at this point it's anywhere in um, the South Pacific. Um, so I'm going to say just even just beyond the boat, the South Pacific is someplace we really want to be for, right. for South Pacific, Southeast Asia for a couple of years on the boat. Um, I have, I have this profound desire to bike through the Middle East. When we were in Turkey in the RV, we met a bunch of people that had biked from Malaysia through through the Middle East and, and were coming across to Europe. I think that sounds really, really cool. Um, I'd like to explore more of Africa. I think Will and I will end up exploring more of Africa probably once the kids are gone um, and more of South America. And of course, I would love to take a trip to Antarctica at some point. Um, there's, there's Even though we've been traveling for so long, um, and I, th I think we're probably around 70, -ish, 70, 80 countries that we've been to. There's still so much of the world that we want to see. Um, dying to go to Bhutan. We'll um, never get old. Yeah. And it, it's, you know, we, we've got plenty of time, you know. This, right. um, so we're going to hit the places on the boat. And then I'm hoping like maybe like three years, three years, three months out of a year, we can get off the boat, put her on the hard, have some work done. Um, and then kind of either go do some backpacking or some biking to other areas that we couldn't reach with the boat. Um, right. Um, but but that is, I mean, we, we've always been committed to seeing and exploring the local cultures of everywhere we're going to, and and it's, you know, the boat is just one additional method to get to them, and and we're we're really excited to get to those areas that are off the beaten path. Yeah, and, I would say I think in closing that, you know, we talked about how COVID has just been really just 
traumatic on all levels. Um, and, and for us, luckily, we did not lose um, any immediate family members to COVID, um, and we're grateful for that. But there were other losses in our life, and one of the losses was um, people and cultures and being exposed and we really the reason there are many reasons that we have this travel life like we'll said um to you know bond closer as a family and teach our kids about the world but also to meet other people and explore the cultures and develop friends across the globe and obviously that hasn't you know happened in the last um 12 months or, or you know less of that because we've been very stationary yeah. so we're really looking forward to getting back to that and having the boat take us to these remote islands and villages and places where we can experience new culture and new people all right, and all three more questions okay. all right 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 i don't think there's any more questions let's see um no everyone's just saying thank you hi you know, uh, you know yes, all come that to of africa stuff. yes we do want to go to africa yeah we yes. the only place we've been to africa is morocco so we definitely want to and we love morocco but we want yes. to explore more of africa all right we all right. will let you guys go thank you so much for joining us um yes. it was really a pleasure i'm um, sorry we didn't have a vlog up this week um on Friday, but there will be one this Friday. It's coming. And we do have a bonus vlog coming in. Um, it won't release on a Friday, but it'll release midweek in sometime in the next two weeks. I um, A lot of people have requested it. I did a uh, How We Homeschool Our High Schooler. We did one for middle school when we were in the RV. Um, and people have been requesting uh, Avalon and how what, she, how what her homeschooling program looks like. So while I was in Spain, I taped a whole bunch of stuff and I'll put all the resources and all that kind of stuff and it will just editing it now. So um, that'll be coming out soon. So yep. thank you guys so thank much. Thank you guys. Um, and... Have a wonderful evening, morning, lunch, wherever you are in the world. And uh, we'll see you. We'll see you Friday. And we're going to let the buffer run out. So if what we say mean? goodbye, that just means that we're just hanging out. Oh, thank you, Edward. Um, so what, what happened? Oh, thing. Thank, thank you, thank Edward. You. Thank you. All thank right. you. We'll pass it on to the kids. All right. Have Take a care. wonderful Have wherever a great, you are in the world. And, and we will see you on Friday. On Friday. Bye. Bye. Are you hungry? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> or did you just drink your dinner?